We are live in Studio B. This is your day-to-day -day BYU Sports play-by-play. -play. I'm Spencer Linton alongside Jerem Jordan. The women's basketball team will play on. They're headed to the WNIT. But when and where? Have no and idea. And against who? We'll find out later this afternoon. We don't know. Joining us to discuss that and much more is the head coach of BYU women's basketball, Amber Whiting. Amber, congratulations on playing on, getting into the WNIT. How do you handle the idea of accepting a bid and then waiting and having no idea where you play, who you play, or when you play? Um, I'm not one to, that likes limbo at all. I like to plan, know where I'm going, you know, game prep. I would be have watched film all weekend if I knew, but... We just got to take what's ours right now. So you watch the select show like everybody else yep. uh, this afternoon, and uh, you'll find out what are you anticipating you'll be on the road for this? Um, we put in a bid to host, so hopefully we get a host at least one, two rounds um, before we have to go on the road. But I would like to win as long as possible, and wherever that is, I don't care. What's the uh, sort of benefit of this situation? Because obviously you want to be in the NCAA tournament, mm -hmm. but it's year one. It's a group that was pretty young. Um, you, you've uh, had a nice, couple of nice wins in the uh, uh, tournament in Vegas. What are you hoping to accomplish specifically in this tournament that perhaps propels you into the Big 12? Um, I think any postseason experience you have is good, especially for the girls as young as we were are. Um, I also believe that I don't, well, I don't feel like our season should have ended on that note, mm. if that makes sense. Um, and a lot of the girls were really unhappy if that was it. You know, that's our game and I told him in the locker room after you know this moment can't define us because we've had a really good season a really good but if they know that they can go back out and lay it out there one more time or just go fight one more time like that's always like something that's like gets you excited so there I got a lot of text last night from them when we got in and they were really excited awesome. about it so that's good okay so when you look at your team as currently constituted and what you face moving forward yes you're gonna get into the WNIT but then it's on to the Big 12 you played Oklahoma one of the better teams in the Big 12 this year and you played them pretty tough at home um, you're bringing in some big-time recruits your daughter Amari uh, I, I mean Jenna Asai among others how close are you to to where you feel like you need to be roster wise to compete for a Big 12 championship um, I feel like the new ones coming in, I have five new signings in the 23 class and then two transfers. Um, I feel like that enhances our roster a ton. Um, and the play style that they're bringing in is m my kind of play and to be able to play defense and to be able to just get out and run more playmakers, more everything within that roster. Um, I feel like that helps us in the Big 12 because the play, and I'm watching the uh, championship game yesterday, the play is going to be a lot different than the WCC. Um, so that helps in that aspect. And so, I mean, you just got to keep building every single year. And yeah. so I can't say, oh, we've arrived, you know, because we're not there yet. And granted, I mean, we're going to have new problems next year, right? So every year is going to pre present something new. Um, so as long as we keep building, I think we're in a good spot. I think I'm excited about your signing class for next year more than any other sport at BYU. I'll be honest. Because <laughs> it's Idaho, Utah. Nevada Gatorade Players of the Year, mm -hmm. a top 40 signee, uh, you know, out of Oregon. Obviously, your daughter's top 40 as well. Uh, I, I'm like, are we doing that in any other sport? <laughs> like, like, this is great. And there's a lot of talent at BYU, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to um, kind of, and it's interesting because you do have a couple of those on the roster, like practicing. How are practices, by the way? Because you, you have, uh, you know, a, a good group sitting there ready for next year. I think it pushes our first group uh, really hard. Um, and I, they like being scout, just being able to have freedom, right? But there's been a couple of jokes in practice where, you know, I've had to say, you know, I'm gonna get that defense out of you. Like being <laughs> my transfers that are coming in, right? Cause I, they just kind of chill sometimes on defense and that's not acceptable. Um, but, you know, when you get to college, I feel like Everything you've done in high school and all the rankings and whatnot, it's kind of out the window. Like, now you got to go in your, earn your stripes again. And so I know, and maybe it's because Amari's in that class, but I'm going to be way harder on this class than what I've already had, right? Like, because I'm going to expect more out of them. Um, but, yeah, I just, I just am excited for the future for sure. Head coach Amber Whiting of BYU Women's Basketball is on BYU Sports Nation. As they play the... T TBDs at TBD uh, in TBD. Yep. Location. <laughs> Absolutely. Very exciting. Can't wait for that <laughs> we'll game. We'll find out. It'll be awesome. You mentioned that, understandably, your whole team is really disappointed with that Gonzaga game in the semifinals of the West Coast Conference Tournament. 
And I, I'm sure that Lauren Gustin was at the top of that list. Mm -hmm. Nine points, nine rebounds. Not what we have seen her do this year. She is so close to setting the single season rebounding record in the NCAA for total rebounds in, in, in one 32 season. Away. 32 away. Which, which is wild. It's huge. So giving her specifically the opportunity to play in the WNIT, how much of a factor was that in, in your mind? Because she is a special player. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, she... First thing we when we got outside the locker room, she's like, "Okay, so are, what do we, like what are our chances, right?" Um, I don't think that she is more record driven as much as win driven, mm. and so when we lost that game, she knew that that wasn't what we where we wanted to end, what we wanted to do, and so for her, I feel like that she just wants to win, and so those records come because we win, um, and the more we can keep playing, the better it is for her. So, like process based, if she has 32 rebounds in say two games. That is her average, and her average typically means she's doing well, the team's doing well, the process as opposed to the outcome, right? Um, and then Nani Falatea, when she's good, she's really good, right? Um, mm -hmm. How have you seen her develop into sort of role-playing three-point shooter last year to 14 a game and first-team all-conference guard who can really take over if she, if she wants? She's had a lot of pressure on her this year for that re very reason. Um, and I've just kind of like talked to her through things, you know, like just control what you can control and give us 110% all the time. And she's playing a lot of minutes and that's not always conducive to output as far as like when you get tired or whatnot, right? Um, but she's done a lot for us this year and I've really loved her development um, and just hope that keeps going for us. How excited are you to not play a Monday game in tournament style? <laughs> oh. <laughs> So excited. Our Monday games have been awesome this year, being sarcastic, but yeah. Are Mondays a possibility in the Big 12? Um, I know on the men's at, side they are. I've looked at the schedule. I believe we only have one Monday throughout the whole, whole schedule. Ooh, you've seen the schedule. Well, no, not out no. yet. I've seen dates. You've oh, seen you've seen dates. 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, listen, a date would be better than what you have for the WNIT right now. And you have <laughs> that in the Big 12. Yeah. Yes. You don't have that for the next Wednesday, game. Thursday or Friday <laughs> away home. I don't know. Is that generally what, it, like, uh, in terms of days of the week? Yeah, so they gave us, they said, what day can you play Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday? And then the next round, I believe, is Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. So You're talking WNIT right yes, now? Yes, yes. Are you talking about Big 12? I am talking Big about Big 12 is Wednesday, Saturday. Wednesday, Saturday. Yep. Do you, Do you like, like that, that extra format? day? Love yeah. that format because then it gives you an extra day in between for game prep, for recovery, for, you know, legs, everything. Um, yeah, I'm excited for that prep. That if it's sure. two road in a row, would you stay out? Yeah. Okay. If it's, and then, yeah. For sure, we stay out because by the time fly you fly Tuesday, home, fly home, and then you fly back out, and then it depends on it, what time zones. If you're away, if it's West Virginia or Cincinnati, or yeah, yeah, there's that in play as well. Yeah, I like the, the the men. I believe will have some Mondays involved and some, maybe even Tuesdays. Like it, yeah, so that could be gnarly. A Monday game just stinks. It just does. It's <laughs> it's the worst. And it's, it's just it's part the of the deal here. We, we don't practice on Sunday. You can walk through it, but you can't practice. I don't want to make excuses, but it's the worst. No, it, I mean, sometimes, yeah, it is bad. But on the flip side, the kids or the players, they know when that rest days are coming. Does that make sense? So, like, there's a light at the end of the tunnel of your week. Um, whereas some programs is like we don't have a day off when is the last day we've had off you know so, true that that so day of rest is that, literal yeah it is good for them yeah uh march madness will exist in the whiting home your son Heck jason yeah, boise <laughs> state that? got yeah. in that large bid as a 10 yes. seed yes mountain excited. west four bids so are are you going to be able to fly out and watch him play on location or how is that all going to work is, is wnit is maybe going to impact that no um trent was on the computer last night as soon as it got released he got his flight He's going. I've got to, I mean, this is what I'm here for, right? Sure. So if we win, we're playing again. Sorry, when we win, we're playing again. Okay. So I just, Jason and I talked last night. We knew this, like, coming up, right? And so I can get on TV and watch, too. Or if we lose, which we're not going to, then I can go. But right now, the plan is just me stay here because playing, play, 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 and he's out. What, how was March Madness growing up in your house? Because you're, like, probably the basketball house of houses. <laughs> is it like, are you guys filling out brackets? Is it competitive? Oh, we always have brackets. Yeah. And then whoever yeah. wins, you know, everybody has to owe them something or whatnot. And so. Anything fun owed? 
uh, for me, I was more like, give me foot rubs, give me like. <laughs> <laughs> um, for other the kids, they want shoes or whatnot. Um, but yeah, we have a family, like an extended family bracket that we have like an actual trophy that gets passed around oh, to whoever nice. household. That's serious. Um, yeah, we we go all above. That. I'm, I'm That's awesome. for it. Uh, and speaking of shoes, I need to compliment you on the Georgetown Thanks. Low Air Jordan 11s. We don't call them Georgetown 11s. That's good. What's, they what's, were, what's they the were inspired Jordan, by Jordan. Georgetown. Yes, they were. Yeah. No, this was uh, Trent's always good on the shoe game, so yes, he, he always is. makes sure I have good shoes. If you sniff it, it smells like John Thompson's towel. <laughs> <laughs> it's super weird, but that's how it goes. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show. You bet. Good luck this you week bet. against you. whoever you're playing. <laughs> um, if you any of this, we'll find out. If yeah. you miss any uh, you know, interviews, shows, games, you can go to BYUSN.com. All the Spencer Linton you could ever want yep. on BYUSN.com.